Oh my God, it's absolute chaos here. Hello. So you are in Edie's wardrobe. Daisy, what are you doing? So I thought as we're spending a lot of time inside, we need to make all of the rooms nice and tidy. So I'm going through room by room each day, making sure everything's like as nice as it can be. Edith, she stood on a table that's not supposed to be stood on. Get down. <laughs> you are such a little fucker. <laughs> She's so cheeky. Get down, Ed. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh my god oh my god right so yeah i'm going through each room and tidying it up because we're spending a lot of okay well you can't fall from that so that's fine um so yeah we're spending a lot of time inside so i thought it just might make things a bit nicer you're a little bugger you're a little bugger um, so yeah, and I don't think I've ever shown you Edie's bedroom because obviously I moved in November 2018. Edie's room was actually finished like a year ago this week. So you won't have seen Edie's room. You can see a little bit now. It's very pretty. Um, so this is what she's wearing tomorrow's Mother's Day. She's going to wear this tomorrow. We're not doing anything are we for Mother's Day. We might just go to the park. Or the forest. No, don't close the door. No, I'm trying to tidy up your wardrobe. I'm trying to tidy up your wardrobe. Edie, look. Where's Mummy's phone? Mummy's phone's there. So, can you wave? <laughs> you look like a little rascal today. <laughs> Stop it. Where's your block? Oh, can you get Elsa out for me? Get Elsa for me. You look really cool. Oh, look at you. Edie, look. Look how cool you look. You look so cool. <laughs> you look very cute, Edie. Edie's room's quite easy to keep tidy for the most part because <clears throat> um, I've got enough storage for her and stuff. But things like her clothes get really messy this is her wardrobe i i i love her room i love like edie's clothes as well why can't they make adult size clothes of baby clothes because like look at that how sweet is this i mean oh and i love this she's not worn this yet this is a zebra dress is a place that she can get in so she often goes into her wardrobe when she's playing in her room and throws everything out <clears throat> which is fine i don't mind that um so yeah i'm gonna crack on with tidying up and when it's a bit tidy i'll actually show you edie's room because i really i'm proud of it because i designed it all myself and it's just super pretty it's and i've got a grown-up version of edie's room like it's the color is like this is a very very pale gray and then up here is a soft blush pink and the kind of color scheme of it is all like the white and the grey and the pink. And my bedroom is similar, but a grown-up version. So mine is white with the pink painted on the walls, but then like copper and black. So mine's a mess at the moment though, because A, my door is still needs replacing. And my room's not actually finished because there's no skirting board on the floor. So mine looks proper shitty. Um, but when it's done and when like my bathroom cupboard's done as well. It will look nice. Are they your father Christmas socks? Can you find some socks to wear today, actually? Because your feet are getting cold. So, yeah, I will uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, good girl. She's trying to put socks on. Yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit when um, I've tied up Edie's room and I will show you what it looks like. It's a lovely cuddle. Oh. <laughs> This is the life of a toddler. She's cross because I won't let her eat her baby wipes. You're not allowed to eat baby wipes. Do you want a cuddle? So we're in Edie's bedroom. Is this Edie's bedroom? You're going to no. your bedroom. Good girl. So we're going to show you around. This is Edie's bedroom. It's really hard to get like a decent photo or video because of the angle of the bedroom. 
but yes, there's a sticker on the floor because he is obsessed with stickers. So as you come in, there's this picture, which is Edie and Dexter cartoonified. This is Edie's bricks, which is her favourite thing in the world, and her car, which she loves. Um, so this is Edie's little collection of things. So she started collecting uh, these animals, which are the, I can't, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's S-C-H-L-E-I-C-H, uh, uh, -E like Schleich or Schlack or something. So she's got some of these. And uh, you've got another one for your birthday as well. Uh, um, so yeah, this rug is new because Dexter shat on her last rug. It, it does need a hoover in here, so I'm sorry about that. So that's a new rug, that's a book there. That is full of like, there's like dressing up stuff there. In there, there's some toys in there, some nappies. That's Edie's cot. And look at this. So she's eaten all of that. She stopped it, it's what, that's what she did when she was younger. But she's basically ruined her cot. Um, up here is her shelf. So that is all her squashmallows and her little teddies, all of her big teddies. Uh are up there so when i was pregnant i was like no she'll only have like one or two teddies nope and that i have that tattooed on my arm in the exact same font um so uh, when she's older i'm going to tell her that like her love projected it onto me or something like that um yeah down there so yeah that is edie's bedroom isn't it she's woken up from her nap like super super grouchy and very snotty, so she's probably coming down with something. Um, not something worrying, I, she's either just teething or she's got a cold because babies, at this time of year, babies are always super snotty, or well, Edie's always super snotty as well, so yeah. So that's Edie's bedroom. I'll probably leave it here for today because I have to entertain a grumpy toddler. Um, I've always got to try and finish some more tidying up, so yeah. I'll see you again tomorrow.